The proposal to make entering Texas from Mexico a state crime with a state penalty was given preliminary approval by the Texas Senate last night. It's all the buzz across Texas, but the focus in Austin is very different from the focus along the border. At the state capitol last night, they were talking money. Lawmakers representing far south Texas worried about the plan creating additional costs for their local taxpayers. To increase the number of uh, unlawful entrants that will be arrested, uh, they will increase the cost to the local counties. They have to house uh, many of these individuals, which will have an impact in increasing property taxes. But the sponsor of the measure says he's already talking with the governor's office and others to make funding available for that. Those monies are available for counties to be able to make application for reimbursement of those costs, because just as you are sensitive to those costs, you are sensitive to property taxes, I am as well. Meanwhile, along the border, people are talking about the possible impact on refugee families who had planned to quickly ask the feds for asylum upon arrival. If they went to a DPS officer, they would get arrested, charged with a crime, and then after they got um, sentenced, they could then apply for asylum with the federal authorities. That is not how our asylum process is supposed to work. The human rights groups accuse both sides of the aisle of playing politics. The border security measure still needs a final vote in the Senate and approval in the Texas House before it can go to the governor. Fred Cantu, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.